Hi, once again, and welcome to Gator Vision, along with Gator Defensive Coordinator DJ Dirk, and I'm Larry Vitell. The Florida Gators get set to host Georgia Southern on Saturday. We'll get to the Eagles in just a second, but DJ, you go on the road to South Carolina, hold them to one touchdown. I know it's a tough loss, but a great effort up there by the Gators. Yeah, I thought our guys, I mean, obviously, they came out and played really hard. They were into it. They executed the game plan um, that we put in place uh, very well. And, um, you know, it was one of those things. We, we, we got to find a way to make some more plays and, and, and get over the hump and get a win. But, but again, the effort was great. They played physical. They, they were into it. And, and that was all good to see. We just we got to figure a way to make some more plays. I want to ask you about some of the guys individually. Starting with Ronald Powell, who's had the multiple injuries to come back from, it seems like he's been elevating his game a lot lately. Yeah, I think it's been a, a continual process throughout the year. He's gotten better and better, which is natural. He was out of football for a while with the injury, and uh, he's playing really well. He's active. He's making plays. Um, he's playing within the scheme really well, and uh, so it, it, it's been good. You guys have had to cope with a lot of injuries. I don't know, Coach Muschamp, and you always saw a next man down, man up. And mm -hmm. at linebacker, you lose Antonio Morrison. And Jared Davis has stepped in as a true freshman to really contribute. Yeah, it was great to see. I mean, uh, that was Jared's first start. It, it was his birthday. <laughs> and uh, But he, he played really well. I mean, he, he was very excited, fired up going into the game. But you know what? He went out there and executed really well. And we saw he made some plays. He played really fast. He played physical. But he, he executed within the scheme of the defense. I mean, he was assignment sound. And, you know, J Jared's a great competitor. And he prepares really well. And, and you'll just keep hearing his name more and more. You know, we don't talk about him a whole lot, but it seems every time you look into, uh, at a play, there's 31. Cody Riggs is in the middle of it a lot. Yeah, yeah. C Cody is uh, not real big in stature, but what he has, he throws in there, and, and we love that about him. He, he's our style of guy. Um, he, he gives everything he's got, and he's not scared to go put his face on someone and make a hit. Georgia Southern comes into the swamp on Saturday. This is a team averaging 450 yards a game. Triple option football, which you haven't seen a whole lot of. A little from Furman maybe right. two years ago. What are the problems they cause? Well, I think it's just that it, it, it's different than what you see on a week-to-week -week basis. So it, it causes you kind of to stray from what your normal game plan um, tendencies are, things that carry over from week to week. There's not much carryover. Mm -hmm. You're on a new game plan. You're doing things differently. And so, um, you know, this is something we worked on as coaches all the way back in the summer. We knew this one was coming. We've been preparing for it for a while. Now it's implement with our players and getting them to go execute what we're asking them to do. Can that be fun for the players because it is so different? It's like you get out of a routine, it's like something brand new? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, these guys, they're watching on tape and they see how, how well they run it. You know, they're, they're good. They got guys that can really run and they can take it the distance. And so I think it's good. Anytime you present our guys with a challenge, I think they respond really well. And this is obviously a challenge. Last thing about their offense, that is, you think triple option, think run, 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 run. And they are overwhelmingly a running team, but they also, when they throw it, average almost 20 yards of completion. Yeah, and, and that, to be honest with you, that's where they get you because it, it is. It's run, run, run. They kind of lull you to sleep, and all of a sudden they, they take a shot down the field to hit you on a big one. And they have guys with great speed. And so they get behind your defense, and they throw it up there and, and go catch it. And that's, you know, where they've hurt teams, they big play. You know, and they get you all sucking up on the run, and all of a sudden hit you over the top. So our guys got to be really sound with, with their assignments and have their eyes in the right place. One thing uh, about this season, there, I know there's been a lot of frustrations, but you've defended the home field. How important is it to continue to do that? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's everything. Our guys understand that we're, we're playing at home, playing the swamp. And, uh, you know, last time out there, it wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't the outcome that we look for at all. So our, our guys know that we're back home. we got to go perform and get a win. Good luck Saturday. All right, thanks. Sir. We'll catch you next time right here on Gator Vision.